वेलकम टू दिस एपिसोड ऑफ द हरप्रीत सिंह शो अज के सैगमेंट में मेरा साथ देने एंटोनीना जेडे कि एक सर्टिफाइड न्यूट्रिशनल प्लैनर ने अच्छ सा गलबात करके दसन गए कि जोड़े असी लिकुइड्स कंज्यूम कर रहे हैं कि साढ़े वास्ते फायदेमंद कि नुकसानमंद ने क्यों सूँ हाइड्रेशन की लड़ है तो क्लीन वाटर की की इंपोर्टेंस है स्वागत करते हैं एंटोनीना का तो इन्हों को जानकारी लेने वेलकम टू द प्रोग्राम थैंक यू फॉर बींग हेयर सो टूडे वीड लाइक टू गो ऑन दिस जर्नी ऑफ बींग हाइड्रेटड यू ऑलवेज से रिमेन हाइड्रेटड बिकॉज इट्स वेरी गुड for your body for your digestive system for your brain for your cardio and everything else so when we talk about being dehydrated what kind of uh, drinks should we consume which can be beneficial to us well when you say about being hydrated i have a pop and i consume it that also is giving me some water in my body so what kind of uh, hydration do you recommend great question and a very important one it's something that we take for granted and a lot of people think you know liquid is liquid as long as i consume anything mm-hmm. it's going to be fine um it's a, there's a lot of misconception because there are liquids while they have some water in it they're actually very dehydrating for the body okay. or they're diuretic um and there are liquids that are very good at mm-hmm. hydration mm-hmm. and s- something like water there could be a water that has 15 you know 12 15% hydration and there are the kind of water that can be 80 90% hydration okay. so uh, n- everything it all depends again on the quality of every substance right so if i was to educate someone and i do that a lot you know in my practice water and hydration is a very big subject mm-hmm. so um because we are 75% of the water 70 75 80% people argue about that i think it really depends on how well hydrated you are but if this is such a big and most important element in your body the largest element that we made up mm-hmm. wouldn't that matter what quality that Absolutely. hydration is right. so i like the ho- how you posed the question what is good and what is bad and again if people are consuming coffee can coffee be a high quality and can it satisfy a certain you know need for maybe some energy and um you know and and a feeling of you know feeling good right. absolutely but a lot of coffee is very dehydrating or okay. diuretic one cup of coffee will you on average will lose several cups of water mm-hmm. so as you know people will drink it because they want to go to the washroom in the morning right. that's what people it becomes a habit and a custom mm-hmm. in everybody's uh, day to day routine so um a coffee is dehydrated caffeine overall is is dehydrating right. soda is very dehydrating okay. because soda is highly acidic mm-hmm. and oxidizing it has um uh if we're to measure it with multiple tools in nutrition and in nutritional and hydration science we will take a look and we'll see that each soda is highly highly oxidative oxidative mm-hmm. meaning it's very whatever whenever we measure it it's beyond anything the body should be exposed to okay um highly oxidizing oxidizing and then it's also acidic so whenever and all of those uh we know that acidosis is a big problem um and uh, oxidation is a big problem for cancers and diabetes mm-hmm. so any kind of diseases the body needs to have a proper nutrient balance and alkalinity right. there should be and there's more and more conversation in nutritional science and naturopathic science and even in allopathic medicine now mm-hmm. about proper acid alkaline balance okay. and sodas will be very destabilizing for uh for the body because it's highly acidic okay. so well and your body is neutral the bo- the blood is neutral mm-hmm. and the body always manages all the pH around and different organs and different systems have different pH mm. so if you're constantly to consume something that is very very acidic and the body always needs to neutralize it the body will constantly be spending molecules and minerals that your body needs okay. so instead of your magnesium potassium phosphorus mm-hmm. all of those incredible electrolyte minerals to be in the bone and then the connective tissue and help your brain function instead the body has to spare them or kind of pretty much send them to deal with the acidity that you just oh, caused okay. so the body a lot of the times when people are consuming highly acidic things and oxidizing things there are two different things the B- body has to respond and it has to almost goes into this physical fight and flight mode right. in where it has to respond and neutralize those things okay. so it will use a lot of minerals it will send them out to do the the, the dirty job and okay. and the cleaning work yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 okay you talked about water 15% to 18% or 75 <laughs> and above now hydration part does water also uh, you know the kind of quality of water what we are consuming uh, you know it said bc has the best tap water in the world <laughs> and it is very good what do you have to say about that Yeah, I love this. This is the <laughs> subject I talk about 
almost every week, uh, if not more. Right. Um, I'm very passionate about water and what has been done to water in the last hundred years of industrial and uh, industrialized world. Mm -hmm. So the water that we get from the tap today is not the water that we used to get. Right. Um, <coughs> the good thing is that it's disinfected with chemicals. It's also a bad thing. Mm -hmm. So it's wonderful that we kill the pathogens and viruses and bacteria. The problem is all this chlorines and, and other uh, chemicals, 200 plus different chemicals that are used in our municipalities wow. um, or are allowed to be used in our municipalities to clean the water. Mm -hmm. Those chemicals then make our way into our body. Right. So if we are consuming this every day and it's, mm -hmm. and it's been so successful at that chlorine and everything else that's been put in it, it's been so successful at, at killing any pathogen bacteria in, in, the, in the water, mm -hmm. when you're drinking it in large amounts, right. guess what it's doing? Mm -hmm. It's going to attack your own cells as well. Oh. It's going to attack your healthy cells and your healthy tissue, whether it's a parietal cell mm -hmm. in your stomach or whether it's um, any other cell um, you know, in your, uh, in your intestinal tract or whether it's good bacteria in your intestinal tract. Okay. So all of those things could be strongly affected. Right. And I believe a lot of the digestive issues today mm -hmm. are due to all the problems with the um, with a, uh, never like never ending consumption of those chemicals right. because we constantly disinfect this the gastrointestinal tract mm. which is actually where a good bacteria is mm -hmm. so we are killing effectively we are killing good microflora right. and good bacteria if we're constantly drinking chemicals so that kind of water is mm -hmm. could be damaging will it hydrate you on some level yes right could it be damaging yes because of the chemicals mm -hmm. is this in the proper structure and the form and the and the and the and essentially even chemical composition besides HTO that it is found in nature? No. Okay. So for us to find the difference between tap water or bottled water for that matter with all the plastics in it right. and look at the water that can be cleaned mm -hmm. and brought back to life by um, you know whether technology or we can go back to we can go to Hansa Valley mm -hmm. or we can go to Lourdes de France or right. we can go to Dakota Mexico all these places in the world mm. that have famous beautiful waters right. so there's a big difference between one or another well, that's an interesting thing what you have pointed but then we cannot go to all these places all yeah. the time you know sometime we can go and consume some water mm -hmm. but in our daily life we have to consume water because we have to remain hydrated yeah. with that so now the question is if not the tap water is bottled water good then <laughs> my favorite uh, i'm not a big proponent of bottled water mm -hmm. not because it's environmentally unsound because we we literally throw out millions of plastic bottles mm -hmm. in the landfill every day right and so that's not a good solution not only from the environment and the sign that, that we're polluting the environment mm -hmm. and now now we have an issue with our wildlife being exposed to all these pollutants those are petrochemicals right. that are breaking down 400 500 a thousand hundred you know a thousand years right. and it's not going to break down to you know beautiful uh, you know uh, fertilizer for the soil it's mm -hmm. going to break down to petrochemical chemicals right. so that's not good for the environment the other problem when we can consuming bottled water, it has a lot of estrogen mimicking toxins. Mm -hmm. So a lot of this plastic is washing into okay. our onto the water because that plastic bottle could have been there for you know a month, three right. months, or a year right. before it delivered to you. Mm -hmm. So when you're drinking this, a lot of that plastic is already in the water. And we, mm -hmm. when we study that, we see that. So all these plastic uh, chemicals and particles do not belong in our body. Okay. So guess what they do? They start mimicking and they start interfering with body's functions. Right. So for example, estrogen mimicking mm -hmm. uh, toxins, uh, things that are um, essentially messing our estrogen uh, hormones. Mm -hmm. And of course, if we mess with one uh, you know, hormone, the it's going body. to cascade all the other hormones. Absolutely. So yeah, the bottled water is not a good option. So neither the tap water nor the bottled water, but what is the option? Let's go for a short break. We'll be back and learn yeah. how technology can be used to make the water pure, which can be beneficial to our health. After this break, we'll learn from you. Shine Family Dental Clinic Dr. Satpreet Singh ਦੀ ਦੇਖ ਰੇਖ ਹੇਠ ਆਧੁਨਿਕ ਮਸ਼ੀਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਵਰਤੋਂ ਨਾਲ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਦੰਦਾਂ ਦੀ ਸਹੀ ਕੇਅਰ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਨ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾਵਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਦੰਦਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਾਫ਼ ਕਰਨਾ ਕਰਾਊਨਸ ਬ੍ਰਿਜਸ ਡੈਂਟਲ ਇੰਪਲਾਂਟਸ ਰੂਟ ਕੈਨਾਲ ਡੈਂਚਰਸ ਬੌਂਡਿੰਗ ਅਤੇ ਵਨੀਅਰਸ ਐਕਸਟ੍ਰੈਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਬੋਨ ਗ੍ਰੈਫਟਿੰਗ ਆਦ ਸ਼ਾਮਲ ਹਨ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਦੀ ਡੈਂਟਿਸਟਰੀ ਦੇ ਵੀ ਮਾਹਰ ਹਨ ਇਹ ਇੰਸ਼ੋਰੈਂਸ ਕੰਪਨੀਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਡਾਇਰੈਕਟਲੀ ਬਿਲ ਭੇਜਦੇ ਹਨ ਤੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਘੱਟ ਤੋਂ ਘੱਟ ਚਾਰਜ ਕਰਨ ਦਾ ਵਾਅਦਾ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਨ ਫॉर ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਸ਼ਾਈਨ ਐਂਡ ਸਮਾਈਲ 604-503-2 ਤੇ ਕਾਲ ਕਰੋ ਕਿੰਗ ਜੋਰਜ ਸੁਪਰ ਸਟੋਰ ਦੇ ਕੋਲ ਯੂਨਿਟ 370 7488 ਕਿੰਗ ਜੋਰਜ ਬੁਲੇਵਾਰਡ ਸਰੀ ਵਾਂਸ ਅਗੇਨ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਬੈਕ ਟੂ ਦ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਗੁੱਡ ਐਂਡ ਬੈਡ ਹਾਈਡਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਇਸ ਸਮਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਤੇ ਮੇਰਾ ਸਾਥ ਦੇ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਐਂਟੋਨੀਨਾ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਕਿ ਹਾਈਡਰੇਟਡ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਰਹਿਣ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਕਿਸ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਦੀ 
ਪਾਣੀ ਨੂੰ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਾਫ਼ ਕਰ ਸਕਨੇ ਆ ਅੱਜ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਟੈਪ ਵਾਟਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਕੰਜ਼ਿਊਮ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਕੈਮੀਕਲਸ ਨੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਈ ਵਾਰੀ ਕੋਈ ਨਾ ਕੋਈ ਆਪਣੇ ਘਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਾਫ਼ ਕਰਨ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਪਾਣੀ ਦਾ ਕੋਈ ਨਾ ਕੋਈ ਟੈਕਨੋਲੋਜੀ ਦੀ ਵਰਤੋਂ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਪਰ ਅੱਜ ਕੱਲ ਲੇਟੈਸਟ ਕੀ ਚੱਲ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਆਹ ਇਸ ਬਾਰੇ ਕੁਝ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਲੈ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਸੋ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਦ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਲਾਈਕ ਯੂ ਮੈਂਸ਼ਨਡ ਵਾਟ ਇਸ ਗੁੱਡ ਔਰ ਬੈਡ ਹਾਈਡਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਫॉर ਦੈਟ ਬਟ ਨਾਓ ਦ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਇਸ ਨਾਓ देयर ਆਰ 200 ਪਲੱਸ ਕੈਮੀਕਲਸ ਇਨ ਦ ਟੈਪ ਵਾਟਰ ਦ ਬੋਟਲ ਵਾਟਰ ਇਸ ਨਾਟ ਗੁੱਡ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਦ ਪਲਾਸਟਿਕ ਕੈਨ ਗੋ ਇਟ ਡਸ ਗੋ ਇਨ ਟੂ ਦ ਵਾਟਰ ਐਂਡ ਇਟ ਅਫੈਕਟਸ ਆਰ ਹਾਰਮੋਨਸ ਸੋ ਨਾਓ ਵਾਟਸ ਦ ਆਪਸ਼ਨ ਵਾਟ ਇਸ ਟੈਕਨੋਲੋਜੀ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਐਟ ਇਟਸ ਬੈਸਟ ਟੂ ਕਲੀਨ ਦ ਵਾਟਰ ਐਂਡ ਹਾਊ ਕੈਨ ਵੀ ਟੇਕ ਐਡਵਾਂਟੇਜ ਆਫ ਦੈਟ Yeah, we live in a fascinating world where some technologies are definitely improving our life dramatically. And um there are many technologies, so there's definitely many filtration companies. Mm-hmm. Uh whole house filtrations uh, under the sink and under the counter filtration systems over the counter. Right. Um but there's also very sophisticated technologies that are used in med- medical facilities. So, for example, the one that I very much love and use for last 8 years mm-hmm. and speak highly of and because all of my research in the last 8 years really led me to believe or secured my belief in the fact that it's probably one of the best waters available mm-hmm. and that is a technology that allows the water to come through the tap uh, it comes from the tap it comes through the machine a technology and the engine of the machine is made out of platinum titanium plates okay and as it passes through this kind of engine that i call it um dissociates it it ionizes it so it it breaks it down into two streams an acidic mm. and an alkaline right and it's done through uh the way of electrolysis there is no chemistry that's tinkered with there is no additional things that are added to the water the water as it has been from the source mm-hmm. we take out the chemicals and then it comes through this chamber and when it's also charged so through electrolysis process it gets a lot of the hydrogen gas okay. and that is one of the best antioxidants i have seen so far in medicine and mm. um I'm actually really excited to go to Japan in April. I'm going to Arthur Malacca conference and there are a lot of the um segments and a lot of doctors are going to be speaking on um hydrogen gas okay. and its antioxidant potential. Hydrogen gas molecule is at least about 100 times smaller than vitamin C. Okay. So we know how incredible vitamin C is in an antioxidant. It's mm-hmm. going to get into the cell, it's going to help the cell. Right. Um and um with hydrogen it's not only going to get into the cell it's going to get into my mitochondria it's mm-hmm. it's just so much more capable right. it's fantastic both of them i absolutely love as antioxidants and i literally cannot Im- imagine my practice all my life mm-hmm. without having this technology like this mm-hmm. japanese technology that allows for this uh you know oxygenation or essentially hydro- hydrogen gas um mm-hmm. uh, potential as well as alkalinity and just clean water to begin with so right. it's filtered and then all of these properties are added mm-hmm. that have so much for phen- phys- physiological therapeutic value right. um that i i just can't imagine drinking anything else mm-hmm. so basically what you're saying the the water gets oxidized and it is good for you you know it is becoming mm-hmm. an antioxidant mm-hmm. and of course the we always say that we should consume good things for our body mm-hmm. so water is 75% of our body is water but the question is with this titanium and platinum uh, you know the usage of these uh, mm-hmm. uh, this uh, technology mm-hmm. so it cleans the water and it is good for your health and then it charges it it so, charges yeah. also mm-hmm. so you know what difference is there with that uh, water being charged how is it helpful to our body yeah. great question um because when the water runs in nature just right. like those places that we mentioned mm-hmm. it runs from very high places high altitude right. and it uh, runs down and you can literally harvest energy on the bottom of the um of the waterfall right. that's what they do with dams and waterfalls there's mm-hmm. an energy that you can harvest and that's right. the hydrogen and so what happens is this water on the plates will essentially zap the water create this lightning storm a lightning strike inside mm-hmm. and they charge the water just like it would have been if it was in nature okay so it's just at, i guess because of the technology we're able to bring that what is happens in nature mm-hmm. to your counter okay. so we clean whatever's been done to the water and all the chemicals that been put in it we take that out right. and then essentially this machine the recreates what has been done by nature mm-hmm. without you having to travel to hansa valley right. but you actually having to be able to do it at home right. and like magic johnson used to fly his water from all this uh, springs and places mm-hmm. to help his health and now he doesn't have to right. and there's so many celebrities and there's so many doctors and there's so many uh you know uh phenomenal athletes mm-hmm. that are using this water now so right. because so of that and also has some research being done that this kind of water is beneficial to health incredible amount of research okay. there's actually a pub uh, research pu- uh, uh, published in pubmed 
um, uh, databases and our pharmacological medicine mm -hmm. research is very extensive on specifically and the way it would be um, the way it would be actually searched by mm -hmm. searched for in those uh, in those medical journals is the electrolyzed reduced water okay. and its affinity or its work with cancers and mm -hmm. the research when it comes to diabetes mm -hmm. so there's a lot of incredible research right so along with this water if uh, proper nutrition is taken proper supplementation is done mm -hmm. your antioxidants in your body increase and you're in a, your immune system is much better and you can face uh, all these challenges or diseases much easily absolutely much mm -hmm. better it strengthens your ability to absorb nutrients right and for any byproducts to be detoxed from the cell okay. so it's one of the best delivery system and detoxifying systems mm -hmm. great mm -hmm. it was a pleasure talking to you thank you for this information